Madrid. I'm having surgery. I can't put it down. I'm going to cry. <laughs> picked all my nails off yesterday so they're super textured and this textured nails not a good combination that's <laughs> so bad Ugh. I bought some boxes to organize stuff in because I thought it'd be easier you know and I keep buying cardboard boxes because obviously we keep moving <laughs> I just thought it would be so much more cost effective to just get plastic tubs that we can reuse. Also just store stuff in a bit more, logically is not the word, just better. Also the fact that they're clear, you can see what's inside them, so it's just so much easier. a little clippy so you can see it was like the most perfect beautiful rainbow and yes it really is that dark that i'm using a filming light i don't know how to do this i didn't put this one up <laughs> i'm a contortionist oh i'm not really sure how to solve this problem go on then let's show everybody what you learned today ready yeah sit good boy wait proud mom. just been doing some work stuff it's just that time of year isn't it tax winter dark days that i'm really struggling to adjust to but yeah i'm just trying to get on top of my shit because i'm sick of my shit so i've just had a call with an accountant i'm glad i've done that because it means i'm not stressing about it in the back of my head i'm just really trying to stay on top of things because i have a big problem with not doing that and then everything accumulates and like I am a stressed out person as it is because I'm always overthinking like there's never quiet in my brain so just dealing with like the kind of what's the word what's the word I'm looking for just dealing with like adult stuff that I need to deal with kind of relieves some of that stress. Anyway, <laughs> it is the next day. Halloween decorations are down, kind of sad about it. We went for a big walk this morning, which was really nice. Really good to clear the old head, isn't it? As you guys can see, I'm in my running gear because it's time for me to pick up my running again. I have not been on a run since before Wales. It's been a few months and it wasn't one of those things where I was like, oh, I'm gonna try running and then I just gave up. It was, a case of me stubbing my little toe <laughs> on a kitchen cabinet. It was pretty bad. Like my toe was so swollen it wouldn't touch the floor and just putting pressure on it and putting it in tight shoes has been quite uncomfortable. So I haven't really wanted to like take the risk of running and injuring myself further. So I've just taken a big break, but then it, you know, them ones where you kind of fall off a little bit. Obviously I didn't do it on purpose, but it all just accumulated and look at him. <laughs> it kind of snowballed and so basically now we're here where I'm trying to pick back up on my running journey and also train in the gym again. I've been going to the gym a bit more frequently lately which has felt really good but it's been really difficult. I think when you take that time off it's always really hard to get back into things 
Like it's so easy to fall off, but it's so hard to get back into like healthy habits and a good routine. But I'm not gonna let that defeat me. We are gonna get back into this routine just to fall out of it again in like a couple of weeks. I'm having surgery, which I'll talk, I will make a video about it. It is cosmetic surgery. I think if you have been around for long enough, you'll probably be able to guess what I'm doing, but I'm not gonna make this video about that. I will do a video on it at some point when it happens I guess I'm kind of terrified but yeah I just want to get myself back into that healthy routine before I go away and do that because after that I'm gonna have to take a full six weeks off minimum of like anything strenuous so I won't be able to run I won't be able to lift weights um I guess the most I'll be doing is walking the dog I'll show you what I'm wearing Tala sports bra a little Amazon running jacket I have noticed though that there is a hole there I haven't really worn it, so it's not great that. Alphalete Amplify Leggings. New Balance Fresh From V4, I think they are. Also, update on this running jacket. I like it, right? But I think you can see it in the Wales vlog, actually. I had a graze across my collarbone, almost. It's from this jacket. It's not great on bare skin for me, personally. If it's not super tight, it starts to kind of rub, and the material literally left a graze on my skin, and now there's like a... I'd say a scar, like it's one of those really faded, like it's not a serious issue, but it was actually quite uncomfortable when I was running. So I would only recommend it where it's not in direct contact with your skin because for me personally, that was not a comfortable situation to be in. But I do still love like how lightweight and small it is. I'm one kilometer in, I've got a stitch, <laughs> but there are loads of little pockets of sunshine and the weather is actually beautiful to run in. You'll be really glad to know that my stitch disappeared and I had the loveliest run. I just picked up some food on the way home and then I sat on the sofa with the dog, turned all the heaters on because I was freezing. I just could not get warm. So I decided it was time to just indulge in a lovely bath. Little did I know, my boyfriend who was actually out climbing had come back with a little surprise for me. These are the little things that are definitely a part of my love language. So yeah, I'm just super appreciative that I have somebody that understands that side of me. Where are you? <coughs> <coughs> Is that? Hello. Hey. What is that? Hello. Hey. Why are you filming me? Did you? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> What's going on? It's a bull basket. I saw that. On TikTok. <laughs> I got you on. Why well, have you done that? Because you're my boo. Me? Don't, because you know I get emotional. You got the red things for Christmas? Yes. I didn't go all Christmas either because it's not Christmas yet, but... I was wondering why you was out for so long. <laughs> Babe. What? Oh my god! <laughs> oh, this is so cute. Why am I going to cry? Okay, no, I'm not going to cry. I'm fine. I do like to be beside the sea. Good morning, everybody. It is the most beautiful, crisp, cold, but sunny autumn day. So we are heading to Heaton Park Pooch just to have a nice little stroll. I'm really hoping that the leaves and stuff are all autumnal still and they haven't all just fallen off. I reckon it's gonna be absolutely stunning. I hope so. Nice. Yeah. Family day out. Yeah, a little fan bam day out. There's the pooch. Sunday guys Joshua and I are both so ill he's definitely got it worse than I do but wow so today we're just chilling at home it is rainy so I'm so glad we went to the park yesterday because we got to make the most of that beautiful sunny crisp cold autumnal weather and yeah today's just one of those sit in bed days I'm about to start 
working on a vlog but i'm currently reading fourth wing which is a fantasy novel of course also i've got myself a cup of earl grey because it is that time of year you guys know me well then you'll know about the earl grey but yeah i'm reading fourth wing and it's a fantasy novel which is wild because i don't know i guess i just never like venture out into that side of like um literature but i've seen a few people on youtube talk about it and on instagram a few people whose opinions i trust <laughs> and i feel like we're quite similar and they've said that it was amazing and let me tell you i can't put it down i cannot put it down i'm 34 percent in i think it's quite a big book apparently i've got 10 hours 33 minutes left in the book it's getting so good at first I found it hard to like get into it. I don't know why, I guess, because I'm just not used to reading this type of genre. I think the last time I read anything fantasy was probably like Harry Potter in year five or year six when I was like, what would I have been like 10, 11? But you guys, I am obsessed. It is so good. I'm hooked. I'm so invested and it's getting so exciting. Like I'm rooting for Violet right now. If any of you guys are reading or have read it, let me know. But please don't spoil it. Like, please, no spoilers. So yeah, I'm supposed to be like doing some vlog stuff, but I think I'm gonna read another chapter because the last chapter ended on a serious, serious cliffhanger. I was gonna say cliff edge. I don't know what it is with me and not being able to remember words at the moment. It's really embarrassing, but mostly it's just frustrating. But anyway, it ended on a serious cliffhanger, the last chapter. So I'm gonna have to read the next one immediately. I'm on chapter 15 now. How dare I have let myself go this long without reading more fantasy? Could spend the day in bed today, try and get us both to feel a little bit better. I'm having surgery in 11 days and we're leaving to go to where I'm having surgery in like a week. So there's so much that needs to be done. Uh, also, I'm currently looking at the beginning of a high-rise building being built right in front of our flat which is really really sad because it's just gonna block all the light out of our bedroom and upstairs which means that we're gonna have to move which contrary to popular belief <laughs> i really don't want to do we finally found somewhere that we really really like but once that light's gone it just it's just gonna ruin the whole apartment and obviously for work as well i like to use natural lighting and if we're not gonna have that we can't stay here which is so sad like i'm actually really upset like the one place we found where we're really happy but it is what it is it's just i guess not meant to be we've got a lease until the end of march no the end of may obviously depending on how much has been built will we'll kind of define like whether we stay or not for any longer but I'm also very much missing London now. It's been, I think, almost three years that I've been in Manchester and I'm feeling a bit homesick. So maybe that is the reason that this is happening. Maybe it's fate. I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to continue looking at this lovely thing, which I'm sure will get even taller tomorrow when they come back to work. So sad. But anyway, I'm going to get back into this because I just can't wait any longer. Sad. It's just too good. I can't cope. Right, I'm gonna put this down just, just for like a little bit. Hello everybody. Hi. I've finally moved from the bedroom to the kitchen. Um, I'm busy working, putting in that work for you lot. That sounded really wrong until you said for you lot. <laughs> I decided that we needed a roast tonight. So we headed to Sainsbury's a few hours ago. I'm in Joshua's new car. <laughs> <laughs> and um yeah we picked up some bits it was hectic in there oh my god remind me to never go i know this as well but to never go sunday supermarket shopping <laughs> you didn't come to that bit with me but most of the roast ingredients were gone so there was barely man. anything left gotta go, gotta go early. <laughs> yeah thankfully we got what we needed <laughs> so yeah i've cooked a roast yeah can't bloody wait can't bloody wait and i made green beans this time like um, fine beans. They remind me of my grandma and I made them the way she used to make them. She used to like slice them in half long ways and it's just, they just taste better that way with some butter and garlic. So I'm officially clocking off for the evening. We're going to watch Hell's Kitchen because that is our new guilty pleasure. We're obsessed. <laughs> it's just so funny, but 
Also, some of the stuff that goes on in like old episodes of things, it's like old movies as well. Like you just couldn't get away with it now, but it's all banter, it's so funny. And Gordon Ramsay just makes me laugh. Like he's kind of like a kid having a tantrum sometimes and I find it hilarious. <laughs> I was saying to Josh that I would not be able to take it seriously if I was cooking in his kitchen, but also, I'd probably never be able to get into one of his kitchens, so. Yes, you would. <laughs> no. Your cooking so good. Oh, thanks, baby. You have a natural talent. And you're French Jamaican, come on. No, no, no. <laughs> I actually do need to make some more Caribbean food and I need to make you some. The one thing that I know how to make. I'm down for that. We've also got the, um, the blow up bed <coughs> sofa extension <coughs> situation going on because it's just, it's just one of those days, but yeah. <sighs> Oh, I caught you. Oh, it's the dog that. Oh my god, I thought I was about to roll onto the dog. No. Actually, no, but I wouldn't melt. Hey?